In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the LCM and the HCF of two or three numbers. Now let's start with the LCM. So these three letters stand for the least common multiple. Let's say if we want to find the least common multiple of two numbers, we'll keep it simple, two and three. What is the LCM of two and three? Well, let's write out the multiples of 2. Multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so forth. Multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so forth. You just have to keep adding 3. Now, looking at these two lists of numbers, which one contains a common multiple? 6 is a common multiple of 2 and 3, and 12 is also a common multiple. Now, which of these represents the least common multiple? 6 is going to be the least common multiple. It's less than 12. So the LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. Now, let's try another example. How can we find the LCM of these two numbers, 3 and 4? If you want to try this example, feel free to pause the video and see if you can get the answer. So go ahead and work on it. Now, let's write out the multiples of 3. So we have 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 plus 3 is 15, and then 18. 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 4 is 16, and just keep adding 4. So we could see that 12 is the least common multiple of 3 and 4. Let's try an example with larger numbers. What is the LCM of 12 and 16? Go ahead and try that. So common multiples of, I mean multiples of 12 rather, are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, Multiples of 16 are 32, 48, 64, and 80. So the least common multiple of 12 and 16 we could see is 48. 48 is the lowest number that is divisible by 12 and by 16. 48 divided by 12 is 4, and if you divide it by 16, you'll get 3. So the LCM is 48. Now, let's try an example where we have three numbers. Let's say 2, 3, and 4. What is the LCM of those three numbers? Let's write out the multiples of 2. So we have 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Multiples of 3 are 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. And then for 4, we have 8, 12, 16, 20, and 24. So looking at these three lists, what is the LCM of 2, 3, and 4? What is the least common multiple of these numbers? So we can see that 12 is the lowest number that is found in each list. So the LCM of 2, 3, and 4 is 12. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is how to find the HCF. The HCF stands for the highest common factor. This is the same as the GCF, which is known as the greatest common factor. So let's start with a simple example. Let's use 12 and 16. So what is the HCF of 12 and 16? So let's write out the factors of 12. Numbers that can go into 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now, the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. So 16 is divisible by all of those numbers. Now, what is the highest number that is found in both lists? The highest factor found in each list is 4. So the HCF of 12 and 16 is 4. Now let's try another example. What is 
the HCF of these two numbers, 24 and 30. Go ahead and work on that example. So let's write out the factors of 24. So 1 can go into 24, 2 can go into it, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 4 doesn't go into 30, 5 does, 6, 7, 8, and 9, they can't go into 30. You can't divide 30 by 7, 8, and 9 and get an integer. You could divide it by 10, you'll get 3. 15 is a factor of 30, and so is 30. So now the highest common factor in these two lists is 6. That is the highest factor that can be found in both lists. So that's the HTF for 24 and 30. Now let's try three numbers. 40, 60, and 75. Go ahead and find the HTF of those three numbers. So let's begin with 40. So we have 1, 2, 4 can go into 40, 5, 6 and 7 doesn't go into 40, 8 can go into 40, the next number is 10, 15 doesn't go into 40, but you could divide 40 by 20, and 40 itself. Now factors of 60, this is going to be a long one, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 doesn't go into it, the next number is 10, and then 12, 15, 20, 30, and 60. Factors of 75 are 1, 3, 5, 15, 25, and 75. So the highest common factor for these three lists is 5. So that's the HCF for 40, 60, and 75. It's 5. So that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to find the LCM and the HCF of two or three numbers. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe.